we have another application of differential equation. We have the Newton's law of cooling. Newton's law of cooling states that the rate at which the temperature T of T changes in a cooling body is proportional to the difference between the temperature in the body and the constant temperature T sub O of the surrounding medium. This T here, capital letter T stands for temperature and then this small letter T stands for the time. Okay, so going back to definition of Newton's law of cooling, it states that the rate at which the temperature T of T, the temperature capital T at time small letter T, changes in a cooling body is proportional to the difference between the temperature in the body and so we have here the temperature in the body and the constant temperature T sub O of the surrounding medium. So we have here T sub O. We have here our K, which is our proportionality constant. This is supposed to be negative, okay, because heat is being released. But uh, in our computation, we need not to write the negative sign here. So to illustrate this Newton's law of cooling, we have here our example. When cake is removed from a baking oven, its uh, its temperature is measured at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Three minutes later, its temperature is 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Determine the temperature of the cake at any time after leaving the oven if the room temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, to recap our problem, of course, we have here a cake. Initially, the temperature of the cake is 300 degrees Fahrenheit after it removes from a baking oven. And then three minutes later, its temperature is 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Notice that the temperature is now decreasing because our cake is being exposed to environment wherein the temperature of the surroundings is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if we apply Newton's law of cooling to this problem, then we will write here D of T, that is the rate of at which the temperature changes. So, we have here, okay, so, okay, D of T with respect to the time, that is equivalent to K, and then we have here our T, the temperature minus the surrounding temperature which is equivalent to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So by applying this formula, we have here our dT over dT. This is the change in temperature with respect to time which is equivalent to K, T minus 70. So this will be our initial a solution to this problem we will be using this formula okay when we interpret this problem for this formula then we have this one now based from our problem it states that at t is equivalent to zero in other words its initial temperature is i mean initial time is zero its temperature is 300 degrees fahrenheit so we will have here we will write here uh, at let's say T is equal to zero, its temperature, we have here T of zero, okay, representing uh, here T of zero, this zero is time, that is equivalent to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And then this time, after three minutes, so, or three minutes later, so we will write here at T is equivalent to 3, our temperature at a time 3, at 3 minutes, that is equivalent to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is our initial reading. Now, when we solve problems in differential e uh, equation, we have to find some of the unknown variable. Okay? 
So, by applying this part, of course, first we have to uh, uh, make some arrangement for this one. By rewriting this one, of course, we have this one. Okay? So, uh, by writing dt, uh, by uh, what we call the separation of variable, we will combine t with dt. So that I will write here, I will write here our solution. We have uh, dt over uh, t minus 70. t minus 70. Combine all t with dt. And then this small t temperature, we will uh, transpose this one to the other side. That becomes k and then small letter t derivative of t this time we combine t with dt these are temperatures and then k constant and then this one is the uh, time so in integral i mean differential equation we will integrate both sides applying integration to both sides that becomes this one integral of dt over t minus 70 is equivalent to ln ln of t minus 70 okay this is the natural logarithm of our temperature t minus 70 degrees fahrenheit and this one of course that is the integral of k dt is all equivalent to k uh, t and we have here plus c okay so k t plus c and then, if we transfer ln to the other side, that becomes uh, t minus 70, we have here e raised to kt plus c. Okay? We transfer ln to the other side, that becomes e raised to kt plus c. Okay? So that our temperature here, our temperature that is equivalent to 70 on the other side that becomes 70 plus okay uh, by by the way this part this part is we can write this part as uh, a raised to kt this is plus so you have here a raised to c and then Instead of writing E to C, that is equivalent to A K of T. And then instead of writing E to the C, this is another constant. So I will write here C, let's say C sub 1. Where in C sub 1 is equivalent to E raised to C. Okay, so this one now is equivalent to this value. So we have here. C sub 1. So I will now long I will write here as C sub 1. C sub 1. C sub 1. So this part will be our C. Okay. Now C. Okay. C. And then we have here E raised to K T. Okay. So this is our temperature when we solve temperature that is equivalent to 70 plus c e raised to k t this time we will apply our given condition at t is equal to 0 and 300 degrees fahrenheit so we will substitute this one okay so i will write here at t is equal to 0 so we will substitute all the values here to this equation so we have here our t is equivalent to substitute okay so we have 300 which is equivalent to 70 plus okay of course this e k raised to zero or zero times k that is zero e raised to zero that is equivalent to one one times c so we have here c so that the value of C here, that is 300 minus 70, is equivalent to, C is equivalent to 200 
30. That is the equivalent of C for this part. Therefore, when we write here, our we go back to our equation, our T, which is equivalent to, instead of writing C, you have here 70 plus, instead of writing C, we will make use of 230. 230 E raised to KT. So, we have this one as our T. Now, this time, if you have noticed, there is there's still an unknown variable which is K and T. So, if you have noticed this part, we have the value of C and then when we substitute some of the given initial value, we find the value of C as 230. We have here. And then substituting the value of C here, so we have here T equals 70 plus 230 E raised to KT. Now, this time for the second condition, at T equals 3, okay, I will just draw a line here. At T equals 3 and then 200 degrees Fahrenheit, so we will substitute that value here. So, we have 200 T, we have here 200 which is equivalent to 70 <coughs> plus this one is 230, 230, and then E raised to K, and then the value of T here is 3. We will substitute the value of T as 3. So we have here 3. Okay, so 3, 3K. And then substituting this one, 200 minus, I mean, by transposition 200 minus 70 that is equivalent to 200 minus 70 is equivalent to 130 okay 130 divided by 230 130 divided by 230 that is the equivalent of e raised to 3k now to Find the value of K, we will, we will apply LN to both sides of the equation. Okay, so I have here, I will erase this part first. Okay, okay, 230, the value of C. Now, applying LN to both sides of the equation, we have here LN of 130 over 230. That is equivalent to ln of e raised to 3k. So the value here, of course, it will become 3k. So that this one equals ln of 13 over 23. I will reduce this one to lowest term. 13 over 23. That is equivalent to 3k. Okay. So that the value of k here is this one divided by 3, our value of k, is equivalent to, using your calculator, the value of k is equivalent to, okay? So, you just try to check the value of k, which is equivalent to uh, 13 divided by 23, and then ln, you have the value divided by 3, so that is equivalent to negative 0 0.1902 1902 that is the value of our k here okay so we have the value of k we have the value of t okay now this one okay uh, going back to this equation okay we go uh, by uh, when we use to solve this problem we go back to this equation okay so i am writing here our equation t that is equivalent to 70 plus 230 e raised to k which is equivalent to k is equivalent to negative 0 0.19 zero two okay that is k and then multiplied by the value of t okay 
time. Okay. By using this equation, we arrive now at the value of t in terms of time. And then we have here, in terms of minutes, we have your time. Let's say this is our minute. Okay. So, at 75 degrees Fahrenheit, okay, at seven, I mean 75, so I will erase this one. At 75 degrees Fahrenheit, our minute is 20.1. 20.1 by using this equation, okay? Just substitute. Our T is 20.1 minute, multiply and then E. Then we have here the value of T, which is 75. Okay. And then we also have 74. At 74, we have the value of 21.3. And at 73, we have the value of T as 22.8. 22.8 and then 72 at a temperature of 72 we have here 24.9 and so on so 71 at a value of 71 we have 28.6 and so on okay so that is how we apply these Equation. In other words, when we solve problems in differential equations, we have to find first the unknown variable. Okay. Initially, we have this formula, and then at uh, at our init uh, initial temperature, okay, or initial given, we use this initial given. Of course, if we have here our differential equation, we apply integration. And then after we do the integration, we arrive to this formula, okay? We arrive to this formula. And then after we arrive to this formula, of course, we substitute the initial condition. And then we find the value of C, our constant, which is 230. And then by uh, substituting the value of constant to our equation, we have here our equation, this is now the result. This time, we do not have the value of K. So, what we did in our following or succeeding solution, we find the value of K. So, when we find the value of K by substituting the value of T and the value of time, temperature and time, we find the value of K equivalent to this one. Okay? And then, we have here, once we find the value of K, what remains here as an hour unknown is the temperature and the small the time. So when we assume the value of temperature as 75, then we will find the value of T in minutes we have here. Okay, so that's how we compute uh, this particular problem using the Newton's law of cooling.